Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the uh, new uh, discovery that we found on the... Uh, actually, it's from this note. If you watched my last video, uh, it is a new scale just like the uh, previous scale that we found. <clears throat> the uh, 1440 scale, which has basically the same dimensions as Nolan's cross doubled from the crossbar to the end stone. Uh, this one, this new scale came from this note, which is uh, a, a note that uh, Oliver from Oak Island Research uh, showed me. I did not, I was not aware of this information, but uh, since we got the last scale from a date, and this uh, letter has a date, 1979, also, it has a, a, a January 7th, which also is included in this scale. And I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this scale is pretty amazing. And it fits in with uh, the other scale. It ties in and locates other uh, aspects of the, uh, the uh, locations that are on... Uh, Zena Halpern's map, namely uh, the triangle, the the rock triangle, a triangle of Pierre, uh, the uh, triangle two comes into play, and also the um, uh, the hole and the trap door. So uh, how this was discovered is well, how it was calculated was um, I took January. 7th and I made it 17. I added it to 1979 and then I converted it to from uh, pre-1668 fit units which is 326 millimeters and then I divided it by the current foot standard foot unit which is 304.8 and I came out with uh, 2134.8 and just like the last one we learned that the author is rounding down so this actually becomes uh, 2130 and what I find interesting is 2130 divided by 2 equals uh, 1065 which is the decoded um, distance of the corridor when you decode this you go 45 degrees 522 feet and then you go 1065 it's it's in my previous videos if you want to watch it anyway uh, there's all my information so here it is uh, the uh, the, the centers of the circles for this are uh, the trap door, uh, triangle two, and the extension point of the triangle. And when you uh, put those together, um, you form a vesica Pisces here, but it's not really in use. And it's interesting, and I know you guys are probably skeptical about this, but uh, I was at first, but I'm not anymore. Is this fish finally comes into full play with this? Uh, this alignment lines right up with the Vesica Pisces here. Uh, this alignment here is an important stone. This was the handle that uh, does the east-west line and also it uh, does a 45 degrees or uh, it it hits it comes off the fin and hits the triangle of Peter perfectly at a 90 degree angle and uh, that is it pretty much 
there is an alignment that's 90 degrees that comes off the oak entrance uh, that comes off of oh yeah that's the final check yeah so anyway you go up here and Oliver discovered these and uh, this is what they're used for and probably because in the geometry the vesica Pisces on this these two circles don't uh, line up and maybe he added this but there's you do this line here all the way down and this one has a little tick mark so it's basically telling you there's another operation after that so you go over here and triangulate off of that to here and you end up with a verification of this uh, vesica or this intersection the vesica Pisces down here uh, then you have also this fish has an alignment from the tip of the triangle here this triangle comes into full use and it goes through the intersection of this scale line so we know that this is going to be some kind of a scale indication it goes through the center here of this uh, calculated spot between the two uh, end stones and mid stone but here's here's the uh, the scale this is the set of scale line which Oliver calls the backbone and it goes through the connection point between the trap door and the uh, extension triangle and then it ends up at the point indicated on the drawing of uh, the triangle two drawing so that's the uh, that's the alignment uh, I know it's not hard data kind of stuff but we're really looking at this drawing as indication of many clues and to me this is just too co too much of a coincidence um, it's telling you something I mean that is the scale line and it's intersecting a line that goes directly from the trapdoor to the extension triangle which are the centers of these circles um, anyway uh, the other thing is is and I'll and this is why I'm I'm not gonna get too much of there I have to organize this information to get it more uh, explainable because I could just go on and on and on uh, with this but uh, here I'll just throw up uh, throw out not throw up I'll throw out this is the previous scale the 1440 scale um, and you can see that you know you have uh, it is uh, emphasizing the whole and uh, you can see you know previously we already had established the oak entrance the south anchor the north anchor and now we're establishing the triangle of Peter and it's pretty amazing how this fits in uh, I do not think it's something that even I could uh, I can't make this up uh, somebody made this up but it's not a uh, coincidence and I think we have pretty much in a way decrypted uh, the meaning of these dates that we thought were dates and Oliver uh, you know he's the one that really had me going on this because uh, he said that this would never be a date because of this un. so we find that in the uh, letter here it's supposed to be a date and it starts with an un. so that's what made me go and try and do this and it fit it fits you guys another thing I want to show you too that's interesting this and maybe Oliver will do a translation video on this but it also says this 80 right here it's got an 80 and I'll show you another thing that's interesting about this 
it says 80 and then an E. So I don't know what the E is. It could be East, but if you go here and you do the math, that's the other thing about this, uh, these connections here uh, with, the, with this uh, new scale is it forms a triangle, it, it, it conforms to the extension triangle. The extension triangle is right there and it goes right over the top of the extension triangle. And let's see if I can put that. Uh, I have so much data here that extension triangle. Here it is. So you can see that it goes right over the top pretty much of the extension triangle which is by the way just a mirror image of um, of the triangle that goes down to here which is the uh, inverted triangle it's just a mirror image of that so you guys don't know, so you know so anyway there's a lot of alignments with this thing this fish really sort of blows me away that it's actually something that gives you clues or sort of a direction and it looks like he's like peeking his head out of the water to do the final inspection uh, it's interesting it's uh, the thing that that it that's interesting about this is this scale this new scale it connects uh, in two spots that have not previously been uh, found out, and that's the triangle of Peter and the hole, and it connects the trap door, but not in an obvious way like the hole. It's sort of hidden in that when you use it as the center of the circle, it forms this union of all the circle, uh, or at least the two main circles, and this. Um, 1440 circle so I find it very interesting uh, that's what I've found it's amazing that it uh, works oh and this is where I was going before is this this dimension from here or actually the the angle of the extension triangle is 80 degrees so that's where that 80 in the text refers to 80 degrees and I guess it is pointing sort of east so anyway uh, I will be definitely doing more videos and showing you I think more of a summary of all the data that we have because uh, all this data is uh, conforming I mean here's Nolan's data and it, all this I haven't moved any of it it's all still conforming to my past videos uh, the only things that I may have moved a little bit were because of the hole and the trap door because it was showing me where they were so I had to move them to uh, these little um, little pointer things to wherever they lined up with so anyway uh, this is pretty much, I'm not going to be doing any video real soon, but uh, this is pretty much what is happening. Uh, there are two scales, uh, one smaller scale, one uh, larger scale, and uh, it has a lot of verifications of different uh, aspects. I mean, look at this oak entrance. I mean, do we not know where the oak entrance is right now? I mean, come on. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I don't know what this plays, in, what this is in play of how this oak entrance or the money pit, as they so to speak. Uh, yeah, so if you're anybody on the show that wants to know where the oak entrance is, there it is. Uh, call me up or email me and I'll give you the GPS coordinates. And you guys can go uh, dig away. But I don't think that's going to be anything that's going to solve this mystery. I'm sort of leaning towards, you know, the hole and the trap door are going to be something integral. But anyway, we're going to keep going on this. And uh, thank you.
Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.